in Michigan. We hunt, we fish, and we plan our roots steep to survive. We are a very small percentage of a large amount of people doing the same. I'm your host, Eric Zerlock, and you're going to want to stay tuned as I explore, alongside my colleagues, the woods and the waters of Michigan. on Michigan Caught Wild. Our winter has been off to a slow start here in West Michigan, but my cousin Seth and I were able to find some ice, drill some holes, and finally get our lines wet. I had one, Seth. I had one. They're down there. I got one. Got one. Nice one. Uh, no? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's a keeper probably. That's a keeper. That's what we're in here for. That's what we need. Yeah, we're at. Two perfect. Got him. That's a keeper. Alright. Not a bad one. Cookie cutters, man. I'm telling you. There ain't about a million of these in here. There ain't about a million of them in there. And this, this is what we're getting. Just the little guys. The little guys, we're letting them go. We'll get the bigger ones. We're coming and fishing this late night by hoping to get into some bigger fish. I'm just glad they're hitting. size crappie in here. I know there's bigger ones, but these are perfect for eating. There's a good mark right on that Yeah, that's a better one. You know, it's still kind of them cookie cutters, but after a meal now. Big there you he go. took my lure way up. He didn't hide any fields that I can just tell him. It's another one of them cookie cutters. You know, I don't know if I'm going to keep them. I don't know if I'm going to start keeping them that size or what if I'm going to get a meal today. <laughs> That's not, not a meat sized fish. No, it's getting pretty close. That's, yeah. I mean, and then I've kept them. Yeah. You guys at home, would you eat that? Little mark, you know? Yeah, little guy. Oh, bluegill. No kidding. Oh, yeah. It startled me. A little bluegill, I can't even believe that. Yeah, the size that I was just keeping. Did I keep one that size? how my plastic, uh, it's kind of tipped. Now I'm going to have to correct that. I wasn't even paying attention. I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> I was totally messing with the camera. It's important to keep your horizontal jigs, horizontal presentation. Yeah. Get you cutting? See, I fixed it now. Now it's sitting horizontal. These 13 fishing lures are great. That's what we're using out here today. 
My one complaint, <clears throat> they come with too much garbage. All this garbage. What's that? That's all this garbage. I just want one of these little lures. They were a little expensive, if memory serves me right, but I was at Cabalos. Well, that's so. another complaint then, they're too expensive. Nah, they were. That's what we're out here after. Another good one, huh? Didn't have the camera on for that one. No. Sorry, I was gone. I'm the camera guy. There's still some more down there. That's not bad. They ain't the same fish over and over. <laughs> After the sun came out, our early morning crappie bite came to an end. We decided to move out on the lake a little further to see if we could find some other fish. Well, we didn't find much other than a bunch of bass, a couple pike, and a few more crappie. You can't always catch the big ones. Sometimes ice fishing is about spending time with friends and family and hopefully bringing home something for dinner. And we did just that. Sure, there's a lot of them in here, isn't there? Yeah. 